Hi, it's Maggie Davis at Men of the Minx UK on YouTube and The Captain. Um, I just want to share with you um, one of these Stack the Pages um, mini, mini journals. It's actually been done like a book, so it's hardback on this one. Um, a wee bit different to the junk journals that I put up, but you could use this for photographs, um, you know, like a scrapbook, um, you could add um, your own journaling etc but it's like a book so obviously it sits like that the sizes of this it's a, I'm calling it a handmade vintage mini album um, stack the pages um, the original design came from Genevieve Designs and I did my own take on it the sizes are about it's about 11 point 11 and a half centimeters by 16 and that is about four and a half by six and a half inches um, I've did this vintage typewriter look and um, put this paper on the front and I've added some lace, some sort of vintage lace. Um, I've made this little charm on the back and it's a vintage lady on it. Um, on, on there there's matching lace on the back and I've distressed um, most everything in here with Tim Holt's vintage photo distress ink. It's a, just a little bit ribbon for the closure. Very easy to open. It's, as you can see, it's quite thick. It's got it's quite thick paper in here and card, um, but there is still space for you to add your own. And I've tried to keep the ribbon, this cream sort of ribbon, matching all the way through. So we'll get on with looking at it. I might end up having to put it down um, if I'm taking things out to show you. So I'm just going to go through it as quickly as I can. I've made these little flips. Very simple. And um, you could add a little bit of writing in each of them. Um, going down and I've added a little gem on the corner of each one. These little gems, um, rhinestones are all the way through the book on various things, um, on the corners of things like there or on tags etc. I just thought I added a little bit of um, interest to the book and made it look a bit nicer. So I've done a flip on this side, um, I've got a belly band in there. Um, and some lined vintage lined paper underneath. You could add a picture in there, um, journaling, etc. And there's a few tags in here. So I've did um, one with the map on it, and you could add a picture on the back. Um, it's a little bit of ribbon, and I've got a typewriter tag there. A space from journaling, and just a little book with gems on it. A little flip open the, um, page. And you could add a little photo or a little journaling spot entirely up to yourself. And on the bit of the flip here, there's, it's lined again with that vintage paper for you to add whatever. Um, there's a little tab here at the side, a pull-out tab for you. So if you pull it out, um, it's a little, basically for putting a picture on, on either side. And it's like vintage doily paper I've used on there. So... I mean, you could slot something else in this pocket um, if you wanted. So the next page is there and I've done another flip and I've put diamantes on that there and it flips open and it's this pa pretty paper. I'll a space here for putting a photo or adding journaling. And I've just I've made a pocket here um, with tags in the top but I've also done a little spot here um, that you could put something underneath that so you could put a picture or something and I actually have put a little tag in there just a place for journaling etc or adding a photo um, on this I've got um, paper here that matches in and you could put a photo behind that so I've got another big tag here Try to get all the papers sort of matching a little tag here with diamonds on the bottom and a tab top here space for a photo on the back and another one of these opened up little bits but it's actually um, note paper and you could put a picture inside or some words or something like that whatever whatever you like on it so I'll try and go through it as quickly as I can um, I've added a belly band on this side and black paper at the back of it so I've made this little book a little booklet um, I've added some threads there and a little bead there on wire um, on there and those little rhinestones in there and it's just handmade I've stitched in the middle here and there's one two three pages double-sided pages on each side 
so that gives you some a spot for journaling, adding pictures, memorabilia, uh, tickets, cinema, holidays, um, things you've picked up, and I've made a little tag. Little three vintage gems here again. It says thanks ever so much, and I've got a little handmade tag here, um, which is uh, like a map. And you could put, or oh, have put something in it. I was going to say you could put something in the envelope, but I've got a little flip here with the little diamantes on there. Three little diamantes, and it just flips open like that with a little little place for a, a little photo, um, a little note, anything you want. So on this side we have another pocket here has been made and I've just put this on top of um, that paper just for interest. So on this side we've got what we've got we've got a large tag here with matching ribbon. Um, you could put a picture on it and I've got another handmade little notebook not with the thing on that side just the threads but the little diamantes are down here and inside it has is it, three pages of paper again so one two three bits of paper there and three on the other side so backs and fronts so you could actually put quite a lot of stuff in that we have a little tag here on there as well with the little diamantes on the bottom and that slips nicely into this pocket here on the other side, I've made a belly band. And this book is quite hard, a uh, thick. It's thick card, it's on it with papers, etc. Um, so there is a bit of a weight on it. Um, again, I've made another little book here with three diamantes on the bottom. It's maps on the front and I think it's three little pages in there again. So one, two, three pages um, and then three on the other side. So it's back and fronts on there. No, sorry, there's the back of that little book. Little booklet, just handmade. I thought it looked pretty. A little tag with those diamantes on it and it's got a little tab top and a space on the back for a picture. And another one of these little flip open. So three diamantes down there on this paper and you could put something inside and that is the paper on the back. It's a sort of vintage look. So you could keep lots of things in here. On this side we have a belly band. Um, in the middle and what I've added here let's see so there's polka dot paper there that you could slip a picture underneath we'll just do the big one first so there's three diamantes there on the bottom and that's quite a large um like a book shape but there's it's just two pages inside you could put a picture on the front picture on the back and journaling inside entirely up to yourself and it just slips in so I reckon these size of pages are about four by six photos could fit in there that you like tuck spots etc so i've made a little tag here it says hazel's nylon mending um, and it's got three wee diamantes on the, in the bottom there and place for journaling or photo another little tag handmade tag being made here with the little gems and obviously the ribbon the matching ribbon at the top and i've made a little one of these open booklets again with the little diamonds and it opens like that and there's vintage line paper inside on this side it's today 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 just on the back which i just thought was cute um nice little tuck spot here and the belly band on these so we'll just fit that back in and then we'll see what's on the other side so on this side i've made a little flip um, there's diamantes on the bottom corner again there, it's matching right through and on the flip it's lined paper that you could put a photo etc and inside there's a belly band with red polka dot um, paper underneath. I have made um, a large envelope here and I'm just seeing what was in it and I've put in a little, just a little tab, I've put diamantes on the back there and a place for putting a photo etc which I think is quite nice um, in here and you could put other memorabilia inside there um, and it just fits back in. There was also a little booklet done here but I've added a tab on it just to make it easier to stand out but it's actually a little book like that with the diamantes on it and inside just white paper I think it's three sheets again so one two three on one side and three another so you've got front and back page of that so it doubles up on the pages which is pretty good and it allows lots of space for adding your own now I've got a little pocket here at the side a little pull out pocket and it's just a large mat um, with typewriter stuff vintage typewriters on that side for you to add photos journaling whatever you would like 
down here. On the other side, I've got a flip. I've made a flip with diamantes on the bottom and a space here for photo, whatever. And there's a pocket being done up here. And in the pocket we have, what have we got? We've got a large tag here, quite a large tag on that, with the diamantes as well on it. And we have another envelope here, quite a large envelope. And inside we have a little, just a little tag in here, with musical notes on one side and quite bright colours on the other. Um, and then we have a little tag with a moustache. Today we did, and it's a little lined paper with the little diamantes on the bottom and you could put something on the back of that. Um, so as you can see, there are quite a lot of spaces in here, pockets, belly bands, um, etc. And I'll just slip that back in. Now it does go in, this, as I said, the card, etc. is quite thick. And the papers that I've used, um, most of it is. Anyway, and I've tried to make it all sort of match. And on this side, we have a belly band. It's a musical note one. Space on the back for adding a picture. Then I've got an envelope, an envelope this way. And it's got a tab inside, vintage tag for you to put a photo, etc. on. Um, we have... It's actually an, a, yeah, an envelope with a little tag inside and then I've got this other little envelope with diamantes on the bottom and inside we have a little tag that would go that way, I guess, and lined paper on the back, which is quite cute as well. And a third little envelope um, with a little, one of these little flip ones again. We saw one of, with three diamantes on it and it opens up like that. Or you could have it that way. It's really up to yourself. So envelopes are a great way for putting extra stuff in that you want to keep um, safe, etc. Or you just want to tuck away and it's just a good way of keep actually adding more stuff in. So on the next page, oh, have we got a pull out here? Yes, we've got a pull out tag here as well at the side. It's lined paper with a tab and vintage doily on the back and that's quite large that's about um four by six on that and it just tucks in here at the side so I'll just fit it back in so you'll see it sorry on that page probably better that was that that i just pulled out there then we've got another flip with diamantes on the corner and it's polka dot red paper that you seen earlier on it a belly band and um, with today black paper behind it that you could add a picture and then we have a little envelope here um, with a little tab inside just quickly show you and we have a little let's see this one sorry trying to get it and i was holding those other things and it's that's it back in and we have a, another little handmade booklet three gems on there and I think it's three papers again. So one, two, three, and it's white paper. And that's the center there. So three double-sided that way, three double-sided that way. That's the back of the paper. Um, and a little handmade tag with the date and lined paper on it and three little gemstones in the corner and ribbon. And I think these are so cute. And they all go back in here. So just get them in, fit them in like that. Um, you can see why it's called Stack the Pages. Eh? You're trying to stack as much as you can into these albums. Um, on this side, oh, something's fell out there, but I'll fix it shortly. Um, on this side, it is a belly band and it's got a large tag with a map and vintage sewing, I think, on the back. And it's got a little envelope here, polka dot envelope. So all be, they've all been distressed, all round the edges have been distressed on everything, um, as I said with Tim, Tim Holtz on that. Um, and that fits back into the little envelope on there. And we have just a little square with, you saw that matching paper with three diamonds there and this paper on the back. So these all fit in here on the belly band. Very nicely, snug as I like to call it. Sometimes just watch for the little gems. It might be better tucking. When you've got gems flipping under, it might be best to put um, it this way and slip from the bottom in as opposed to the top down because you could knock your little gems off 
if there's if the space is quite tight. So on this side, I am looking at what am I looking at? A belly band. I was wondering there why that was, but it's because I've got quite a lot tucked on under here. We'll take the tab out and these first, since that is quite a lot on it. So we've got a little booklet first um, on here, and it just opens that enough to put in lots of journaling photos four by six photos would fit in that i'm just trying to tuck that back under there like that and then we have a handmade booklet on this little booklet we've I've added a little bit of metal and a little bead and those little vintage those little sorry gemstones in there again i'm looking at i'm sure it'll be three again one one two three pages on one side and three double-sided pages on the other in white so enough to add in quite a lot in there and then i've got a little tag handmade tag here with three gemstones in the ribbon i really like that and um, everything sort of matching throughout the book and i've got a little handmade envelope here that's been distressed again and like what was in the other ones that we saw um but it doesn't want to come out here it comes out we've got one of these oh it's not an open one it's just a little one like that I thought it was doubled but it's not but uh, it's musical notes on that side and it is it is cute um, very cute and this would make a lovely gift for someone someone that's into scrapbooking someone that wants to keep their memories inside um, I think it's really nice um, and then on the very back page similar to the front I've added a little these little flip pages just one two a typewriter in that one polka dots that is white in the middle and this one stripy and there's a little gemstone on each of the corners as we had on the on the inside of the front now i've just um punched through here on either side the, for the closures and just tied a little bit ribbon because i thought it was really nice and um i'm just going to fix this because this little bit slipped out there because there is a lot in it as you can see so your little book comes like that the, and as i said it's chunky you can see that it's chunky there it's chunky there um but there is still space for you to add your own so this is going to be for sale on my um etsy shop which is minx creations uk and um, i'm going to call it a vintage i had made vintage mini albums um and it's as i said it's stuck the pages um so hope you enjoyed that um, and there will be a video link on my YouTube, um, sorry, from Etsy there'll be the video link um, on it of my YouTube video and from YouTube there'll be my Etsy shop name on it um, just to link up for anybody to see if they're interested in buying it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!